In July 2025, astronomers around the world turned their eyes toward a faint, fast-moving point of light detected by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Telescope in Chile. At first glance, it seemed like yet another icy rock wandering through the outer reaches of our solar system, but calculations soon revealed that this object, now designated 3I Atlas, was unlike the ordinary comets and asteroids we are familiar with. Its trajectory told the story. This was not a body bound by the sun's gravity. It was travelling on a hyperbolic orbit, meaning it had come from outside our solar system and was destined to leave again, never to return. 3I Atlas became only the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed after Oumuamua in 2017 and Comet Borisov in 2019. The discovery immediately sparked excitement. Here was another chance to peer into the chemistry and structure of material forged around another star system, a literal fragment of an alien world drifting through our neighbourhood. But 3i Atlas carried with it not just scientific promise, it also reignited one of the most provocative questions of our time. What if such objects are not merely natural? What if they could be artificial? When the Hubble Space Telescope locked onto the comet on July 21st, 2025, it revealed a hauntingly beautiful image. A bluish coma of gas and dust surrounded a solid nucleus, glowing faintly against the dark. This envelope of vapour and debris indicated that the object was active, its ices sublimating under the distant warmth of the sun. Scientists estimated its nucleus could be anywhere from a few hundred metres to several kilometres across, though its exact size remained uncertain because the coma masked the solid core. By August, more instruments had joined the chase. NASA's SphereX Observatory confirmed the presence of water ice and a widespread halo of carbon dioxide, both hallmarks of cometary activity. The SWIFT Observatory detected ultraviolet emissions, evidence that large amounts of water were breaking apart into hydroxyl radicals. The numbers were staggering. The comet was spewing water vapour at a rate of about 40 kilograms per second, equivalent to more than a million litres per day. This level of activity was unusual because it began farther from the sun than typical comets ignite, suggesting that 3I Atlas contained particularly volatile ices or was chemically unique compared to local solar system comets. As data accumulated, researchers began to paint a deeper portrait of the visitor. Its surface chemistry indicated it might have formed in the icy outskirts of a star system long ago. Its estimated age ranged from 3 billion to more than 10 billion years, making it potentially older than our own sun. Some models even suggest it could be a relic of the thick disk of the Milky Way, a population of stars and matter dating back to the early epochs of our galaxy. If true, then 3 I Atlas is not just an interstellar wanderer, but a messenger from deep cosmic time, carrying secrets of planetary formation across billions of years. But while the mainstream scientific community focused on chemistry, structure and modelling, another conversation unfolded in parallel, one tinged with speculation and imagination. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, already known for his controversial interpretation of Oumuamua, stepped forward with a provocative idea. He suggested that 3I Atlas might not be entirely natural. In his analysis, the glow of the object seemed unusual. Instead of sunlight reflecting off dust, the light appeared concentrated near the nucleus, almost as though the body itself were emitting energy. If that were the case, its size could be much smaller, under 100 metres across, and the energy source might even be a kind of internal reaction, perhaps nuclear in nature. Loeb also pointed to the object's orbital geometry. 3I Atlas was travelling on a path remarkably close to the plane of the planets, just a few degrees off Earth's orbital plane. The odds of such an alignment occurring by chance, he argued, were tiny, perhaps less than one in 500. To him, this raised the possibility that the object had been guided or engineered in some way. 
he floated the hypothesis that it could be a probe, perhaps an ancient spacecraft that had long ago lost contact with its makers, now drifting passively through the galaxy. Unsurprisingly, such claims drew both attention and criticism. Most astronomers remained cautious, noting that natural explanations were far more likely. 